uh, certainly, I uh, I uh, have been looking forward to coming here at uh, Camp Grande and uh, to, uh, in particular, to uh, uh, give you a gift, which is the menu calendar. When Superintendent uh, Nakao was saying that it is uh, timely, I thought she meant it's already February, so hindi niyo nagamit yung February uh, menu. But uh, there are still uh, uh, 11 months to go, so you will still uh, uh, make good use of our menu calendar. Uh, but uh, really, I think it's a very good opportunity. We have been uh, looking forward to uh, uh, can we say devote or uh, offer some of our uh, services of the Department of Science and Technology to other national agencies. Now, uh, the other thing is uh, why we are uh, uh, devoting this particular calendar to the men in a uh, uniform. Okay? Now, uh, I was asking uh, Dr. Mapansana how long we have been uh, putting out this uniform. And, uh, uh, Initially, he said about 30 years. So I told him the first time I was assigned to BOSD was in 1982, Merino Middle Calendar. So that's 37 years under Dr. Jaime. So it's a big end. It's probably around 40 years already that we have been issuing the Merino Calendars. But uh, uh, more recently, they have been dedicating it to specific uh, sectors. It's dedicated to a particular sector. Uh, so, what were the earlier uh, uh, sectors uh, considered in coming up with the calendar? I think there was a year when we were uh, thinking about the elderly. And uh, just remember that uh, we are here to serve okay, uh, not only the business or the production sector, uh, but also our colleagues in the public service. And the men in uniform, are, uh, they are definitely a very important uh, uh, shall we say, group in our uh, public uh, service. Uh, men in uniform like BNP and the Army are the embodiment of uh, law, peace and order and uh, you are our uh, protectors. Uh, you not only uh, project resiliency but also competence and capability wherever seen by the citizen. So for this, we salute you because you resonate preparedness, attentiveness and uh, strength. And uh, maybe to uh, uh, conclude, I just would like to repeat uh, three things that I have learned from uh, the President, uh, which helps us guide our work at the Department of Science and Technology. Uh, you can just uh, think about it, whether it uh, covers you as a group, but uh, the first one, ang uh, wish ng Pangulo is to reduce inequality. So, Siguro partly that is his, uh, what is in his mind when he's trying to improve the, the benefits of the men in the uh, uniform. The second is to create uh, new opportunities. And I don't know how it will be stated in terms of the men in uniform, but uh, we do do research that are intended to, to help create new opportunities, particularly in the production uh, sector, and uh, particularly covering the marginalized segments. And the, the last one is uh, he wants to expand our, uh, shall we say, potentials uh, for growth as a country. And that's why we are also doing uh, research and development that uh, cover very new areas, that cover very high technology areas, because we think that that could be a way of expanding our opportunities uh, for growth. So to all of you, I would like to share the optimism that uh, our country will be uh, moving towards a better situation. Uh, you know, uh, maybe just to share with you my own personal experience, uh, I, I only had two siblings, two, two older sisters, okay? And uh, early on, in the 60s, they migrated to the US. And I graduated in 1969. Most of my classmates in engineering migrated because it was not uh, difficult to, to go to the US and uh, uh, I stayed on you know, with all the hopes that the country will improve. After 10 years, we will improve. I still have that hope. 
And uh, umabot na lang, and from 69 to today, is 50 years. And uh, I still keep on hoping, and I share with you my optimism, that we will uh, go towards a better situation and improve the lives of our family. Thank you very much. For